Hello YouTube, it's me again. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you my anti-lead Nido King at work. So, right at the bat here we have a switch from Latias to Polyrath, and I send out my Whimsicott to counter it. It's going very, very well. Right now, since I just knocked out their Polyrath and their Latias is also quite weak to Charm, I don't really know what they have to counter Whimsicott here. They might have something in the back, but right now it's looking like a pretty good situation for Whimsicott here since he's kind of farmed down and bada bing bada boom, let's see who's left. Uh, Neo King himself is actually kind of funny. I was not expecting that, um, but that is a good situation for G Fisk here. G Fisk's role here is basically just being anti counter, uh, anti flying, I mean. <laughs> um, not anti counter, that would be terrible. Uh, yeah, basically just nail stuff like Altaria and Skarmory, which would really give Nido King a lot of trouble. It's going very well here. Um, bait with Rock Slide, big success. Uh, I don't even think they can KO of Earth Power here, so I should be safe to just kind of threaten them endlessly. Because even if they take this rock slide and resist it, oh, they don't, that's perfect. Uh, yeah, there's nothing they can really do to G Fisk at this point, and I think they know it. Even with Earth Power, I should outrace them. Uh, yeah, tanks it pretty well. And they're not even running Legacy Fury Cutter on Neo King, which is basically Neo King's whole thing. It's, uh, it's less bulky than Nino Queen, but it has better energy gains. Big win. Now let's see who I have here. Yeah, it's, it's Galvantula. I would say Nido King's best advantage as a lead is that it completely walls Galvantula. But, yeah, they swap out to the Jellicent, so I'm going to swap in Whimsicott. Whimsicott can definitely take an Ice Beam, so there's nothing really to fear here. They could try baiting Volbeam. They did not do that. But, yeah, Whimsicott is... Uh, He's doing very well. Completely walls their bubble, of course. Uh, probably going to shield here. Yeah, I'm going to shield here and go for a grass knot. Um, I actually don't know if I even need to do that. I could just farm down. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since I've actually done this. I haven't recorded voice lines for this for uh, definitely a while now. So I'm just going to threaten whatever comes out next. Um, yeah, Galv. You know, Galv is very, very frail. Even if it resists these, this attack, it's not. It, oh, oh yeah, it's a lot of damage. Um, I think Nido King can just come in, farm down. Yeah. Uh, oh, Sunfisk. Yeah, like I said, uh, I actually recorded all this footage about a month ago. Honestly, it's been a really long time, but um, yeah, I haven't been able to add commentary to this for a while. So, yeah, the income superior, but this is a really great matchup for Nido King. As soon as the lag stops, man, that was some bad lag. I'm um, just going to see if I can get a shield frock slide here, um, because superior is frenzy plant. I mean, it's neutral. Nido King does not want that. That would be very bad if Nido King had to take a frenzy plant. Um, superior kind of just uses it anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Um... I don't know what else to say. I'm just gonna watch it happen. Go for it, goes another rock slide. In comes Nido King, the shield advantage. Uh, is this is what's gonna happen though? I think it's gonna happen. Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh, here it comes. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, it's 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 no uh, boom, but you know, it's, I, I was pretty happy with that. Now, I, I don't even really need a shield here. I probably could have gone for a flex, but, um, yeah, I guess I felt like playing it safe in case he had energy ball or something, which is rare, but it does happen. Now, here comes Whimsicott into Altario. I, I feel safe doing that because I also have a G-Fisk, so if the Whimsicott faints against the Altaria, it's not a super big deal. Now, this is actually really good. I don't know why they swapped Meganium in because Whimsicott completely walls its charge moves. That was so bad. Uh, yeah, just gonna see if I can have a shield here. Um, probably can't. I can't, that's good. That's real good. Um, and Whimsicott, I think, is still gonna faint to this, even though it resists, just because Frenzy Plant is a great move. So, Neo King's gonna come in, 
try to farm down. Maybe I can... Yeah, I'm gonna farm with this. <laughs> and... Yeah, just shield that because it's gonna do a lot of damage. Even Frenzy Plant. It might be Earthquake. It might have been Earthquake, but it's just Frenzy Plant. Now, when Altaria comes in, I can just uh, swap in G-Fisk and try to nail the Rock Slide. I don't even know what they have in the back. <laughs> like I said, it's been a while since I recorded this footage. It could be something that really fair fears G-Fisk. It's a Zoomerill. Oh, this is bad. Um, yeah, I don't know what I could do to get out of this. Uh, maybe get the, sh uh, the shield off. Maybe uh, farm down with Nido King, maybe a little bit, and launch off some sludge waves on alt. Uh, yeah, I think I could also take an ice beam with G Fisk because it's just so bulky. But rock slides might be the way to go because I think I can reach one more rock slide than Earthquake against this Azumarill, so they shield doing more damage. Uh, yeah, it's gonna go for one more. They're probably going to shield this. Ah, uh, man. Might be too late. It might be too late. Uh, can he live this? I'm really hoping he can. And he does. That's nice. That's really nice. Uh, yeah, Earth, Earth Bower, Earthquake. And they do not shield that. That was pretty nice. Um, coming with Nido King. <laughs> oh, man, this is gonna be so bad. You know, I think um, I think the reason why the moveset changed is because I actually... Yeah, this footage is in really weird order, but anyway, yeah. I think I was experimenting with secondary charge moves on Nido King here. And yeah, I do not want Mega Horn for this matchup. It's bad. Uh, I think it does get all um, Deoxys Defense, which is a great Pokemon to nail. And maybe, maybe Umbreon too, but... I think overall, um, Sludge Wave might be better. Just, again, experimenting here. Again, another Latias lead. Uh, you know, I haven't really played a whole lot of GBL for a while, so I'm guessing it's probably why I'm seeing a bunch of Latias' uh, players catching up. Now, again, they did a really, really bad switch into Whimsicott here. I have no clue why they did that. But maybe whatever comes out next will be a better matchup. Uh, yeah, if they don't shield this, they're toast. Uh, <laughs> what were they thinking? Um, they do shield that. That was pretty good. Um, <laughs> on the other hand, I think I can just send in G Fisk and completely destroy them. Or Nido King. Earth Bower will probably knock them out because of his high attack. Which is, which is one thing I do like about Nido King, by the way. His high attack, yeah, it, it hurts overall in Great League because you want bulky things in Great League, but this is this is pretty good. Um, I'm going to shield this and try to uh, knock him down a bit. Or not. Yeah, it's going to let it go through. So yeah, I'm just going to really hope this Grand Ball here doesn't have uh, close combat. It, it might, it might. But it doesn't matter because they have a two shield advantage and uh, they don't. And I'm also loaded. So right now I'm just going to fling out a bunch of earthquakes and I'll probably kill it. If the lag doesn't stop. Man, this is a bad lag. But oh, whatever, shield flex here I suppose. So here's another great lead for me against Galvantula because Nido King resists everything Galvantula could possibly throw out. Except maybe energy ball, but... It's always a surprise, and it pretty much never happens. Like lunch. Yeah, Nido King takes it like a champ. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to let them sneak in a Volt Switch here because that would be terrible. Even if Nido King can take it very well. So I'm going to throw out an Earth Power here, maybe get a Shield Advantage. Um, yeah, now I wish I had Mega Horn here because that would have been pretty nice in Umbreon. Unfortunately, I don't get that. It's still a pretty nice matchup for. Whimsicott, of course. There's really nothing Umbreon can do to cause me to lose, even if they throw out a last resort, which I kind of doubt they will. A lot of Umbreons in Go Battle League don't even have that move, just because 75,000 dust is a lot. Uh, and Umbreon is still pretty good, even without foul play, just because of how tanky it is. Without last resort, damn it. <laughs> anyway, yeah... There's not really anything a champ can do either. 
Whimsicott is amazing, of course, but this isn't a Whimsicott video. This is a Nido King video, so I'm not going to try to sell you on it. Everyone knows Charmers are good. Uh, Whimsicott is really no exception, of course. And I can get a lot of energy on this guy just because Machamp's counters are resisted. Ooh, Payback. Yeah, I didn't even think people would run that in Great League. I thought that was just an Ultra League move, basically. But I, I guess some people are running that. And if it works, then that's great. But that, that did not work. Um, yeah, I'm just going to try to go for an Earth Power here. And that should either knock it out completely or just do a hell of a lot of damage. Uh, Lunge, I guess, will hurt a little bit. Anyway, let's see how much Earth Power does. I'm willing to bet it puts it in red, even with the attack drop, and it knocked it out. Awesome. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, take care, and <laughs> I'll see you later with more spicy goodness.